here with GMAC Women's Indoor Track and Field Athlete of the Week again this year, uh, sophomore Carson Koch of Cedarville. And Carson, uh, you've already provisionally qualified in the 800 and the mile. This past weekend, though, you made it three separate events with the 400-meter dash. Um, that's just so impressive on so many levels. But uh, reflect back on another Cedarville Invitational and that race in particular for you. Um, yeah, it was great. It was um, the first time that I've been able to run an Open 4 this season, and actually indoor, so that was new. Um, it's always nice to have a meet at home because it's your home track and people can come to watch you, but it's definitely um, a challenge on another level to try to run a fast four when we really haven't gotten into a whole lot of speed stuff for our workouts, but it was it was a lot of fun. It was a, it was a tough double doing the four and the eight back-to-back, -back, but the design was to make us stronger and to just do our best in the floor and use the eight as training, so it was good. Looking at your indoor season to date, uh, how pleased are you with your own progress? You know how the saying goes sometimes that uh, you can be your own worst critic. Yeah, um, well, I think you go into the season, you're like, oh yeah, I'm hoping to you know, blast out lower than a 210 or you know, maybe like 440s in the mile, but I'm happy so far. Um, putting it into perspective, how much training we've had and how my body's feeling, and I'm definitely um, hungry for faster races. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm content, but I don't think I'm ever like fully satisfied with my races, which I think is partially a good thing and partially, like you said, you're your own worst critic. So I'm hoping for improvement, but um, I'm happy with where I am right now. You were last year's conference champ in the high jump. Uh, has that been? Has that event, I guess, been put on hold a little bit for you to focus solely on running? Yeah, that's kind of kind of been put on hold. Um, I love to jump. I would jump, but I have pretty delicate shins, so just to kind of protect my legs and make sure that I'm staying healthy for running, we kind of hand high jump for this season. But you never know. Maybe it'll be back next year. It's Speaking of delicate shins, um, you know, talk about the pros and cons of, of running indoor versus outdoor. I mean, on a day like today where it's, you know, 20 degrees, windy, and a little bit of snow outside as, as opposed to running indoors. Yeah, um, it's, I would say, definitely a mental battle on my run today. I just was thinking thoughts in my head like, oh, my gosh, I can't feel my face. And <laughs> I'm so cold. I can't wait for 80-degree weather. But I think that it's better for my legs to kind of be outside and not stuck on an inner track. Um, but I think that we kind of need this, this um, sort of, I wouldn't call it like a break season for sure, but it's definitely a bit of a lighter season than outdoor. So I think as far as my shins go, they'll be a lot happier when the snow's gone, but um, for now they're okay. If there was a fourth event uh, for you to provisionally qualify, um, you could pick any of them that you want to, what would it be and why? Um... Oh, I don't know. I thought about maybe a 3K. I, I struggle with that many laps, so I think I'd probably get bored. Yeah. But I've also thought maybe going lower and trying out um, a 200. I don't know if I'm maybe fast enough to do that. <laughs> but I think probably one of the two of those would be fun just kind of to take a crack at it. Or maybe high jump. I don't know if, I'd, I don't know if I'm good enough to qualify in anything else. But <laughs> I was thinking shot those. put and hammer throw. That would be oh, yeah, your, for sure. your next two. But... Uh, Carson, thanks again for your time. Another fantastic event for you, and uh, looking forward to seeing you at the indoor meet here in a couple weeks. Thank you.